Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars, and I have for you today episode 6.13 of the video series Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. Episode 6.13 is entitled Other Negatively Aspected Claire Powers. All the clear abilities have their negative aspects. When these abilities are harnessed to military might or to desire for world domination or to desire for wealth, personal power, and fame, for instance, they provide inroads into the soul field for the negative astral beings. Here's a subheading, Astral Story, The Wages of Psychic Powers Used to Harm Others. As a case in point, I recall an astral story, a, uh, quote, psi, that's P-S-Y, in the sky, end quote, story, about a small group of eager young men who purportedly volunteered to develop psychic powers as espionage weapons. They were taught to travel astrally and to descend on enemies of their government and then to induce them to have fatal heart attacks. However, this art was learned not only by their conscious minds, but also by their subconscious minds. After the military psychic experiment was over, so the story goes, whenever these young men were in a relationship with a woman and got into an argument with her, their subconscious minds would induce a fatal heart attack in their beloveds while their conscious minds were asleep. And eventually, almost all of this small group of young men, after suffering heartbreak after heartbreak, bereavement after bereavement, took their own lives. There is no doubt in my mind that were this horrific story to be true, then it would have been negative astral beings who were at fault in the unintentional murders that occurred during this hell world psychic experiment gone awry. Here's a subheading, the dolphin that would not go to war. I am reminded of a story, perhaps fictional, that I read in my youth about a military experiment to train dolphins to wear bombs on their heads and then go and ram enemy ships, thus destroying themselves and injuring the ships. In the story, the dolphins were psychically gifted. On their first mission, rather than intentionally injure the enemy ships, they chose to return to those that had attempted to wreak evil through the dolphins' own loving forms. And then the dolphins used the bombs on their heads to ram those ships, destroying them instead. Wow, what a story and what a lesson about using psychic abilities for the good of all humankind rather than for perpetuating that supreme invention of the negative astral beings, human warfare. I think it must have been a very difficult choice for the dolphin, though, as those beings are all love and light. That dolphin would not have wished to harm either the aggressorship or the one that it intended to aggress. I have for you an image entitled, Witch of Endor, that's E-N-D-O-R, by Nikiforovich Dmitri Martinov, 
1857 in Wikimedia Commons, and it's in public domain. Over here is the Witch of Endor, summoning a spirit or a ghost or shade for a king over here. And behind the king is most likely his faithful servant. It's an extremely famous story. It's been uh, painted in many different ways. And so, the Witch of Endor. I have a comment that I wrote for the image. The story behind the painting is this. According to the Hebrew Bible, King Saul was about to go to battle with the Philistines. He consulted the Witch of Endor to find out how the battle would go. The Witch summoned the spirit of the prophet Samuel, who foretold that Saul would perish in the battle. The next day, the prophecy was fulfilled. This is an instance of psychic abilities being paid for as an aid to warfare. Of course, warfare on earth is sometimes unavoidable, but the mission of a light worker, such as I and such as you, is to spread peace and love and joy on earth rather than to promote aggressive behavior. To do that for financial gain would dull the light worker's light so that his or her sole mission would be more difficult to achieve. So I feel. That's all for now, dear ones. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days. <laughs>